Hey there, Panthers. Today is Thursday, February 6, 2020. We hope you're having a great day. Thanks for tuning in to Pop TV. Tonight is the Wrestling County Championship Tournament. The meet starts at 6 p.m. tonight in the LHS gym. Admission is only $4, so come out and support our wrestlers battle Krista River. Yearbooks are now on sale for $75. There are only 100 yearbooks left. Make sure you buy your yearbook before they sell out. Cinderella Closet is hosting the 13th annual prom dress giveaway at Cornerstone Baptist Church this Saturday from on February 8th at 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Anime Club meets every Wednesday afternoon in Mr. Scheidner's room and the FCA meets every Wednesday morning in the gym. There is a Casa Hygiene Drive going on now. Items can be dropped off at the main office. The, validate, the Valentine's Day Short Essay Contest is going on now. To participate, write a short 250-word paragraph about your idea of the perfect Valentine's Day. Responses are due February 10th to Ms. Malloy or Ms. Ambrose and the Media Center. The Fine Arts Department has been hard at work making Valentine's Day cards. These will be available in the courtyard on February 10th. Grab one and share your love. Reflectors are now available in the main office. If you walk to school or the bus stop early in the morning, a reflector would be a good addition to your backpack. Stay tuned for a short promotional video on how these become available to Citrus County students. That's all for today, Panthers. This is Pop TV signing off. Hi, my name is Bailey Edwards, and I'm a senior at Chris River High School and an Ambassador Girl Scout. I'm working on my Go to Word project. My project is called Light Your Way to a Safe Education. Through my project, I will be providing free LED light-up reflectors for students that walk to a bus stop or walk or ride bikes to school in the dark. These reflectors, which can clip onto your backpack, can help you be seen by cars. These reflectors also have an on-off switch and a replaceable battery. To obtain an LED reflector, please go to the front office or talk to your bus driver. With Valentine's Day coming up, the fine arts class has been making hard art to share with you. Feel free to take one and spread the love. You can find these hearts in the courtyard on February 10th after second period. On Sunday, there was a helicopter crash that killed nine people, including Kobe Bryant. This will be our tribute video to him and his amazing legacy. Kobe Bryant was an inspirational figure to so many people. His Mamba mentality pushed so many people to become their best, and it definitely made a mark on the NBA. When we think of Kobe Bryant, we think about a guy who put his blood, sweat, and tears into influencing the NBA and he definitely left a major mark. I mean, as we saw, there's been so many tributes pouring in already, and this will be our tribute video to him. I tell you, it's just a, it's a crazy tragedy what happened yesterday with Kobe Bryant. Um, he was uh, very impactful to the game. Um, the preparation that he put in was uh, second to none. The way he emulated Michael Jordan in this game, uh, there just never been another player like him. You know, he's just he's a tre tremendous athlete. There's only a few athletes I can think of that uh, that had the same fire that he had. You know, you've got Muhammad Ali, Tiger Woods, Mike Tyson, Michael Jordan. You know, he's one of the greatest. He's going he's going very much so be missed. And uh, my prayers go out to his family. I'd say Kobe is a very important person in our lives. He inspired many of us to play basketball and is very important more than just that. And he inspired many of us for a lot more. Um, so yeah, I never really watched way too much basketball, but I definitely know that he was a legend and an icon and everybody knew him and it hit a lot of people hard. You know, yeah. Kobe, God rest his soul. 
Uh, Kobe Bryant, like, not only was he just a basketball player, like, he influenced, like, all families around the world. And, like, the moment he died, like, shocked everyone. He, not only uh, people who play sports, but, like, people who have, like, childs and, like, families. And, yeah. Kobe was just the GOAT. He was the greatest of all time. He played basketball very well. He was an outstanding father and just a really good uh, sports player. Kind of guy. All right. I mean, Kobe was a goat. He you knows he inspired my man down there. He's shooting buckets, yeah, slam dunking, all that. Inspiring. So all the kids gonna look up to him. He was a legend. I feel bad that you know what happened happened, but people go, people pass. So my condolences. No, it's a it's a tragedy what happened to Kobe. He's honestly a big inspiration, and uh, he uh, obviously made a big contribution to the game we know today and love, which is basketball, NBA, and he'll for, never be forgotten. And that's all it's true. So that's all I really say. My condolences. Um, I think Kobe Bryant meant a lot to everyone. I mean, to me, he was just inspirational, as I th I think he was to everyone. I think his death is a reminder that you know no one is secure in life, um, no matter how successful or famous or you know accomplished that you are. And I think that in his death, he should be a reminder that we need to live to our fullest um, because it's you know such a great tragedy, um, such a sad event that no one expected but no one ever expects bad things to happen so I think like the best way we can honor him is to live like he can't anymore.